What's up guys, Sean back with you guys, and today I'm going to talk about the big fight that's going on this Saturday. Of course, I'm talking about Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather. Now, this fight is probably not going to be very interesting because it's probably going to be um, Floyd Mayweather just dominating and Conor McGregor trying his best to knock Floyd out um, to no avail. I wouldn't really be surprised if Conor McGregor gets knocked out between the third and sixth round at some point. Um, or if he just kind of his, his corner throws in the towel because it's so bad. Um, you're talking about a professional boxer here who is considered one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound boxers of all time, going against a guy who was competing in his first ever professional boxing match. Now, sure, Connor has sparred before. He has trained somewhat in boxing for MMA. He has to train how to hit and things like that and how to dodge. But this is a completely different sport. Boxing is so different from MMA, and I think everybody across the board knows that Floyd Mayweather is going to win on Saturday night. And I think everybody knows across the board that if Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather were to meet in the street or they were to meet in the octagon, that Conor McGregor would destroy Floyd Mayweather. These aren't really questions. This is like this is Kobe Bryant going against a hockey player one on one in his sport. It's it's not going to translate, you know, going against Wayne Gretzky or something in his prime. It just doesn't make any sense. Not that Floyd's necessarily in his prime, but you get where I'm going with it. Now, I will be watching on Saturday because I think the whole world is going to be watching on Saturday. How do you not? And I do believe Connor has somewhat of a puncher's chance. I mean, I wouldn't, I would be shocked if Connor won, but at the same token, I'd be like, wow, I mean, this guy is just incredible if he, if he can pull this off. But in the end, I think this is really just about money. Who doesn't love money? And who doesn't want more money? Especially $100 million each. It's rumored that Floyd's getting $125 million. Conor's getting $100 million. That's a lot of moolah. So Conor McGregor, I think, up till this point, is, his largest payday was somewhere in the, the ballpark of 5 to $7 million from a UFC event. You're talking about getting $100 million. That's a lot of money. That's a huge upgrade from what he was getting before. So I really wouldn't be surprised if Conor never fights another UFC fight um, a day in his life because this money is going to be able to just kind of secure him and his family for good. And he can do other things because he's obviously sold himself more than he sold himself as a fighter. But for the fight itself, I think Floyd's going to win. I think Floyd's going to pretty much dominate the fight. Again, I got Floyd knocking him out or the, st the fight just being stopped um, between the third and the sixth round. What do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know down below and let me know who you're rooting for. And I'm rooting for Connor, particularly. I mean, I would like Connor to win. It's such a long shot that I think it's exciting to root for the underdog in this sense. And I think Connor's story just makes it a, him the perfect underdog to try to root for because Connor was on social welfare like five years ago. Now he's about to make $100 million. And Connor has just said so many different things that he's just going to do this or do that. And people are like, no, you're not. And then he does it. So it's it would just be another story to go along with the myth of Conor McGregor the man. But anyways, um, what do you guys, but again, I think Floyd's going to win. But what do you guys think is going to happen? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.